Before I installed the Neptune wind vane self steering system to my yacht, a Saddler 290, I had two problems to overcome. The Saddler has a stern door, and I had an option to simply bolt the Neptune to the door. But first, it would have been necessary to strengthen the hinges and the latch. I would also have a problem where the wind vane would have limited the amount the door opens back, and this would cause problems when using the dinghy. My solution was to design a hinge bracket to mount the Neptune on. The bracket would mount onto the stern and open out the opposite way from the door. I could then simply swing it out of the way and then open the door in a normal fashion. I sent my design to Trenchard, who kindly advised on tube and fastening sizes, and then I sent a plywood mock-up and a drawing off to my local, local fabricator, who made it all up for me. To ease installation and to help during early trials, I removed the door, intending to refit it later. The second problem I had was that the boat's tiller is very large and extends a long way into the cockpit. If I installed the Neptune's tiller lines to the tiller in a normal fashion, similar to this photo taken from the website, then the lines would restrict my movement in and around the cockpit, and I wanted to see if I could do something different. I decided to try a cross tiller arrangement, fitted at 90 degrees to the main tiller, and attach the steering lines directly to this straight from the Neptune. I made a mock-up out of some gash oak I found in my garage, and initial trials proved promising. Unfortunately, the cross tiller got in the way when not using the wind vane, so I racked my brains and came up with this design. This stainless steel tiller attaches to the main tiller by way of two bolts. It has arms that fold away when not in use, and the unit is designed in such a way that it will work in the normal horizontal position, or to allow even more room in the cockpit, it will work equally as well in the vertical position. Due to the geometry, as the tiller swings up to the vertical position, the lines need to shorten, which is why I've installed the two cleats either side of the main tiller. I'm happy to say that it all works perfectly well. During my early trials, I noticed that the whole system was very sensitive and in certain conditions and wind angles would have the boat bucking and swinging nearly out of control. After contacting Tranchard, I learned that it's possible to trim the system by raking the wind vane aft. You can also raise or lower the vane in its slot. By making these small alterations, it is possible to control how sensitive the system is for any given wind strength or direction and to get the boat tracking straight. I have also made up a smaller vane which works well when the wind gets a bit stronger. Overall, I am very impressed with the whole system and it's made my solo sailing much more enjoyable. Here is a few more videos of it all in action. A very gusty wind here. She's flying her on, and because the wind's shifting, obviously we're shifting course. But with a smaller wind vane, she's working perfectly. Obviously, as the wind gets lighter, we move up to the bigger wind vane. <laughs> 